good morning everyone um not really sure i i probably shouldn't be rocking actually because it's probably gonna make you all feel sick um i sat in the nursery in the rocking chair which i'm obsessed with i actually don't hardly use this to feed the boys because i'm downstairs most of the day and then at night i don't want to get out of the bed and come in here so it's really annoying because this chair is so comfortable to sit and it would probably be so much better for my back to feed them with so trying to think how I guess when they get a bit older I'll probably use this room a bit more and they're feeding a little bit less but for now it's just like too frequently and I can't keep coming upstairs in the day to use this chair in hindsight I probably should have kept it downstairs but you know wanted to get the nursery all sorted so that's that but yes anyway good morning everyone not really sure what today's video is going to be about I haven't figured that out so just gonna play it by ear I do want to introduce you to the boys I'm gonna explain their names um, why we pick their names and introduce them and see if you can guess who's who in the following videos from our, from now on because we have started to slightly be able to tell but yeah it's really weird like I thought it would be so easy to tell them apart but it's really hard and everyone asks us if they're identical <clears throat> which by the way, I don't know if I've ever talked about this. I don't really understand the whole identical twin thing. Um, when I found out I was pregnant, I was told that they were fraternal and I thought that meant that they weren't identical. Um, and I think that is what the term fraternal means. But no one ever told me that there's actually like a 10% chance that they could still be identical. Um, and then actually one of the nurses in the hospital was like, that happened to me, that happened to my children. She had twins and it took her up until eight months she didn't couldn't tell them apart and she decided to go and get them tested and they ended up that they were identical so it's a very small chance and i really don't think that they are now <laughs> i'm starting to notice some differences and i think their eyes are changing color so that would that would be great if one had brown eyes and one had blue eyes it would be easy to tell them apart so we'll see we were looking for birth marks and all sorts but no haven't found anything like that either so it's kind of a case of just dressing them differently at the moment one of them is slightly heavier and you can kind of see that from from just looking at them so that makes it a little bit easier but honestly if if they're side by side with their faces I cannot tell unless I know I'm the one dressing them so I kind of know what they're wearing all the time so it's hard for me to know if I can tell or not but I think I'm slowly getting there um, anyway I really need to get up go downstairs and um, I haven't even had breakfast and I think it's like nearly 11 a.m. So I'm finding the postpartum thing really difficult with trying to not do too much. Like I try and stay upstairs until midday, till their midday feed and then I go down. Um, but Alid has things to do. He has to walk the dog and he's, you know, pottering about. So breakfast is normally quite delayed at the moment and I am ravenous. So I think he's down there making us some pancakes, which is nice because we've run out of bread. Um, so excited for that but yeah I am at a loss with what to tell you at the moment because I've had a really rough weekend I think all the euphoria of having the boys like melted away and yeah it just hit me hard on the weekend I found like everything would set me off into tears so um, mostly it's the dog doing it to me because he looks sad all the time and I can't bear it and it just makes me break down but yeah every time I speak to family I I hate crying in front of people. I just don't like it. I can find cry on my own, but I don't know. Just I'm just quite reserved like that. So yeah, I'm struggling to deal with the fact that I feel like that, and also that I'm doing that in front of people. So that's the honest truth. But today I feel a little bit 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 better. Today I feel a little bit better. It's Tuesday, so I've had three kind of down days. Yesterday was rough. Um, Alid wasn't feeling good, he'd done his back in, so he barely could move all day. He pretty much slept all day. And I just felt like really low, didn't want to do anything, didn't do anything other than feeding them. I just sat and like, I didn't even know what I did and that did not help. So today I've made an effort to get up, get dressed, put some makeup on, feel a bit more human. Um, the air quality here is still horrendously bad, so we can't go out anywhere, but I am gonna try and just get in the car and go and get like a drive through drink a coffee or something because I just need to get out of this house <laughs> um, it sounds crazy but 
it's probably because of lockdown as well. Like, I just feel like we haven't done anything and the minute you think you can do something, it all goes pear-shaped again. So, <clears throat> that's that. But, yeah, I just, kind of a day in the life, a half a day in the life because it's already 11. But, um, yeah, I'll go now and show you one of the boys because he's in the bedroom, just currently in the crib. I'm not going to tell you who he is yet because I'd rather than be side by side. You keep knocking your little socks off. Hello. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> You've got this little outfit on that has no um, feet to it. So I put these little socks on him but he keeps kicking this one off. Why that one? Is that hot? Is that foot hot? Oh, they're just so cute, guys. I can't wait till they open their eyes a little bit more. Hello. Hi, look how cute you are. <laughs> anyway, I'll speak to you all later. I'm gonna go and have some breakfast and take this little one downstairs. So, the doorbell just rang and I ran to the door and um, I could see a balloon outside so I took my camera but Alan has literally just answered a work call so I can't film down there. But look what's arrived. Ah! <laughs> oh my god there's so many balloons. This is from my friend Nicolette. Kibbs if you're watching thank you so much. This has made my day. Um, I'm actually really glad they didn't arrive yesterday because I was so emotional. This would probably have set me off but I'm in a much better mood today so this has just made me so so happy. I've never seen anything like this before but they're helium balloons and they're tied down with a little box in a bag like a paperweight in a bag and she's written a little note. Oh Kibbs you're so thoughtful thank you. Isn't that so cute? Oh my god I love them. I'm gonna keep them in here. These balloons last forever as well so need to find a place to put them maybe here by the by the shelf guys look oh we used to have the um other crib here but we've had to move it into our room because the amount of times i have to get up at night and feed is just insane so um yeah there's no way they're coming in here for a while one thing i will say is um people have been so nice with sending stuff i can't tell you how many flowers that i have received um, so it's coming home from the hospital, so sorry speaking to like a blurry screen, but yeah um, since coming home from the hospital We've had like three or four bunches of flowers these balloons so many gifts Off um, parents and things like that. So yeah, I just feel Overwhelmed, but it's so nice not having anyone here to physically visit. We're getting little things left on the doorstep. So ah, It's nice um, literally hanging on by a thread for Ada to finish work because I want to go out and get a coffee. I just need to get out of this house. Um, he's managing to squeeze work in here and there when we're not hectically tired or busy, which I'm pleased about because he may have a few more days off when it gets tough. I am so nervous of him going back to work. I was just thinking about it this morning. I thought, how am I going to get the boys up, feed myself, get the dog out with the boys, change everyone? I was just like, this is going to be a lot and it's probably gonna be raining by then. Okay, any twin mums out there, I need all your tips. Twin mums with a young dog that has to go out daily. To be honest, I'm glad it makes me get out and, and have a walk, but I'm nervous of how, how I'm gonna do that. I, I need to adapt to probably about five hours sleep. That is my current life, so once I get used to that, things will be easier, but. Yeah, at the moment we've been very lucky. The boys are sleeping pretty well. We've only had one night where we had tantrums for about four hours, but other than that, they've been really good. So I can't complain, but I just know there's worse to come and I'm scared. Okay, I've been trying for about an hour to get the boys both quiet, both dressed and both content to introduce you to them. But I don't know how long they're gonna stay like this. Unfortunately, I can't get them side by side. You can see how like they how similar they are. But this is Henry. Hello, Henry. He was the first one, and this is Jack. Hello, Jack. 
um, we had, as far as the names go, we had Jack down as a name, I would say for quite a few months, but Henry was like a last minute decision. We were going to go with Josh and Jack for ages and then we decided it was just too many J's being added surname being Jenkins, so. Oh, someone's camera shy. He went with Henry. And um, yeah, Henry was the first born and he weighed six pound three. And Jack was second born weighing six pounds 14. And tomorrow we've got their second week doctor's appointment, which I'm hoping to um, vlog as I did vlog the first one and then accidentally deleted it all. But um, I'm really excited to see how much weight they've gained. At the moment, I think Jack is just feeding slightly better, but I don't want to compare them because they're different babies, so. He was being a bit fussy, Henry, so we've put him in this snuggle me, which they absolutely love. I wish we had two, to be honest. Yeah, we've just finished up the morning upstairs, and we're going to head downstairs for the afternoon. That seems to be my kind of routine at the moment. Um... On the whole, they've been amazing. They sleep so much. It's just we have like between 10 and 2. It's normally the worst few hours where sometimes they're awake for that stretch. And that's probably the tiredest point of the day for me. But 